Darkwing Calibrator is one tool included in Water Gems that allows the user to calibrate a model manually or automatically with the use of genetic algorithms. Um, this tool allows us to perform different calibration candidates so we can find the best solution. Um, it is important to mention that there are two main steps to perform the, the calibration. One, uh, we need to determine why there is a discrepancy in the first instance. And second, uh, make the necessary adjustments. Um, Darwin Calibrator helps us to make uh, these adjustments, but it is always important to understand the sensitivity of the model to parameter changes. Um, in this example, uh, I have a network with good quality data. Also, I have three sets of field data that were collected during an average day and two hydrant flow tests. And this data consists of flow measured at the hydrants and pressure at other locations. And also these pressures were converted to hydraulic grade line for use during the calibration process. To start Darwin Calibrator, we can go to Analysis tab, Darwin, and Darwin Calibrator. Um, the Darwin Calibrator dialog will open, and here we can create a new calibration study with the new button. Um, also, we need to check the representative scenario uh, selected. In this example, average day is correct. The next step consists of creating a new field data snapshot and entering the field data. We can select the field data snapshots tab and we can click on new. Um, I will rename this to average day. And I will leave the other options as a default. Um, to enter the field data in the lower part of the Darwin Calibrator window, uh, we can select Observed Target, and here we can click on the New button. Now we can click on the ellipsis button of the element field here, and I will choose the junction number one. Um, with this, the junction will be listed on Darwin Calibrator. And now we can enter the corresponding value of the observed data. Uh, I will repeat the same steps for all the junctions where I have field data. I will create other field data snapshots for the Fireflow. At first, the Fireflow at J10. And also, I need to add the additional demand for the Fireflow at the Demand Adjustments tab. And I will do the same for my other Fireflow. Once we finish, uh, we can create the roughness groups and assigning pipes. To do this, we can go to the roughness groups tab. Uh, we can click on the new button and we can rename this group. I will use cast iron material for this example. So this is why I will use this name. Uh, we need to create the group so we can click on the ellipsis button and select from drawing. Uh, I will use a query to automatically uh, select all the pipes that match my criteria. In this case, I am going to use the material equal to cast iron, and I, I will see my all my pipes mm, selected, and also a summary of, of the pipes that match this criteria. I will create another um, group uh, with the ductile iron pipes just as the same as I did previously. At first I will perform an optimized calibration with roughness adjustments only 
this is why I am not using the man and status status elements tabs. So we can highlight the new calibration study and we can go to the calibration criteria. Uh, here I just want to get sure that I have minimized different squares for fitness type. Um, so we can go to our calibration, new button, and new optimized run. And in the roughness tab, we can define the maximum and minimum multipliers that will adjust our original roughness values. I will leave these values uh, as a default. In the options tab, we have um, different options that we can change for the optimized run. Here, uh, I will change the solutions to keep to 8 and the maximum trials for 50,000. Finally, we can uh, run the calibration with the compute button. If we click on solutions here, we will obtain a summary of the solutions found by Darwin Calibrator. A lower fitness number means a better result. Also, we can explore the solutions and in the solutions tab, uh, we can check the adjustment performed by, by the calibration. Uh, on the simulated results, we can check the uh, observed hydraulic grade versus the simulated hydraulic grade or the observed flow versus the simulated flow. And moreover, we have the option to grab the correlation between these values. So here we can see our results in a graph. Finally, I will create a new optimized run, including adjustments to the nodal demands and as well as pipe roughness. So I can click on new calibration study, demand groups, um, new. Uh, I am going to create two groups here, commercial and residential. And I will choose the commercial nodes manually. And I will use the remove button to easily delete from uh, this, from the residential group, the commercial nodes. Now we can create a new optimized run. And we can check that the roughness and the demand are active. In options tab, I am going to change the solutions to keep to six and I can run this calibration. On solutions, we can see that uh, we have a better fitness now that the, uh, that the demands were also adjusted. So if we are okay with the results proposed by Darwin Calibrator, we can click on the solution that we want to keep. For example, I want to keep this solution one, export to a scenario button. And with this, we can create a new scenario with these new alternatives. I can click on OK. And now I, I will have this information on my model.